everybody welcome back to my channel sorry the lighting is like um not too bright i'm in my room actually i just got out of the shower today is wednesday and um i thought i'd do this video basically updating um my old viewers and i'm gonna let my new viewers know um what it is about it's basically about my sister um i did a couple like probably three vlogs back i was talking about how my sister was diagnosed with kidney disease back in 2013 and when she was first diagnosed with it, she was at a stage two and it's gone very worse where it's a stage five and that's like very dangerous, which she needs like a kidney. And thank God um, my niece is her same, you know, blood type. So my niece would be given the kidney. So she um, started doing dialysis Monday, this Monday that just passed. And she's doing it for eight hours a day. And let me tell you, my sister is a hard worker. She's a manager where she works at. And I know it's so much stress on her because she said it's like too much. Like she's not used to doing that or anything. But the side effects from it, she said, is basically like um, it's painful when the medicine is going inside her. And um, let me see, she gets groggy. I don't know. If she, I don't think she gets nauseated yet. But um, she's still trying to get used to it. And we need to know more. Well, she says she has to like do it like. To know any side effects like losing hair or like your skin change color or anything, I think you have to do it like more like a couple months or whatever. But yeah, um, as she told me yesterday that basically, you know, she just started a Monday, eight hours a day. That's, yeah, that's crazy. That's like basically being in the hospital. I remember when I had to do all that because I myself do um, infusion and mine is like three hours. I go to this, um, it's like a hospital clinic and I sit there, but... All in all, my sister, she's doing well, but the only thing that sucks is that dialysis is just, you know, she's still trying to get used to it, but um, for those of you who has been watching me and wanting to update, there's an update, and to my new viewers, there you go, there's an update as well, so yeah, um, so today I wanted to vlog, and basically, I don't know what we're going to do today, so we'll see how our day goes, and I miss you guys, and you know, I always love you, and thank you for supporting me. And, you know, to all the haters out there, keep on hating, you know, it's like, I try not to let it get to me, but I guess it does. But anyways, enough of that. We'll get back to you. Thank you. I'm on my way to go pick up my daughter from summer school and it's so freaking hot. It's about like, it's like 100 degrees. 100 degrees? I think so. Oh my god, it's freaking hot. I don't want to put the air on because like, I get the air eats up so much gas. And gas is so expensive these days. I wish it would go back down to like, back in the old day, I remember the gas used to be like 105. And it's crazy because it's back in the old day, it was like, you couldn't afford it, like, you know, back in like 95, 96, you couldn't afford it, but now it's like, it's even more worse than you can afford the prices right now, so, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. Oh my god, I am more hotter than I don't know what. Oh, had to stop by and get something to drink at the liquor store because it's freaking hot. Oh, I know I already said that so many times, but if you could understand. Fresno weather is no joke. I'm used to the Bay Area weather. <laughs> Crazy. Been over here for like eight years though, so I'm used to it, but then I hate the summer. I mean, I love the winter more than the summer, but how hot is it where you guys are at? You know, if you guys can comment down below, let me know where you guys are from, and if it's hot over there, rainy, or the weather, just let me know. And I hope you guys are having a good day, as I am, it's besides this heat. <laughs> but yeah, let me know. Oh, oh my god, I'm so thirsty. What kind did you get, Dr. Pepper? Okay, let me get some. Oh, I got My mouth is like so dry from, from just being so hot. Okay, here you go. Okay, let's get going. Oh, what's good, Nana? Huh, I can't hear you. You need to stop being shy on the camera. How was school, Larry? Pretty good. Say hi. 
<laughs> That's my neighbor's uh, son. I pick him up. We take turns picking up our kids. So it's very hot. It's so packed at the school. So I'm on my way going to go drop them off. And we'll see where I go. I think I'm going to go to the grocery store. We'll see. So I came to the grocery store. Can anyone guess what grocery store this is? <laughs> oh, they got a lot of sales on this. Come on, son. Oh, it feels nice in here. It's nice and cold in here, huh? Like refreshing. We came here just to get, I need to get a few things for the house, like some water and stuff like that. Let's see what sales they have today. They got a different variety of chips. Look at, they got the Hawaiian barbecue, I wonder. I wonder if that tastes good. The jalapeno one, keto jalapeno. I never tried that one, but I tried the original one. Huh, oh, decision, decisions. And they're good prices too. Mm. They're 98 cents, so I want to try them. <clears throat> Who remember these candies right here? Remember, Desi almost choked on this? grocery store so I just thought I'd just do a little grocery haul this is uh the end of the month um almost the end of the month you know a couple things I needed from the store my goal was to spend about a hundred but it cost about 120 so I mean that's good for everything we got so we got Kool-Aid right here this is like three dollars worth of Kool-Aid I got this aloe vera pomegranate I wanted to try it it's like a juice some water for my daughter to take to school, summer school. Sugar, mm -hmm. some chicken breast tenderloins, different sodas. There's Chasa Cola, Chasa Lemon Lime, and Kiwi Strawberry. And then we got the beef chuck tenders right here. This was for $3.47. I'm going to actually make this today. Some tortas. We got um, hamburger meat. What I'm going to do is I basically cut it in half and put it in a Ziploc bag and then like put the date on it and just freeze it because I don't need to use all of it. We got some chicken. We got some Lay's, some Lay's potato chips, some Doritos, some hot Cheetos, some ragu mushroom, super chunky mushroom, um, the regular ragu, chunky tomato garlic and onion, two tomato sauce, some kidney beans because I want to do uh, my chili bean recipe the way I do it. Some, what are these? Bow ties for spaghetti. And oh my god, who loves these? These are Maria cookies. Oh my god, I, these are like 45 cents at Winkle. You cannot beat that price. We got some apples right here. Some Fuji apples. Are they Fuji apples? Let me see. Uh, oh, they say Washington. Hmm. The green apples. Um, we got some rice. <clears throat> we got some avocado. Some tomato, some limes, some bread, like I said, for the tortas today for dinner. Um, I got this for my daughter. I want to see if she likes it, you know, because it's hot. It's summer, and, you know, to drink with water, mix it with water is pretty good. And it's basically low calories, so it only has five calories, so this is not too much sugar, so that's pretty good. I got rice pilaf, rice aroni, the chicken one, the chicken and mushroom. I got this, the ham steaks, um, for, um, some fried rice I want to make, and excuse my husband in the background, you know, he's always playing the game. <laughs> we got mango, we got four mangoes, they were, they were like 98 cents each, so that's pretty good price. We got some chili powder, two bell peppers, different colors, we got some honey cornbread, 
some vanilla extract, something that my son's going to be making with ice cream and some whipped cream, some tortillas de harina, flour tortillas, and then let me bring you here to the freezer because I didn't want it to melt. I got some popsicles. I got some assorted popsicles and then vanilla bean. Like I said, my son's going to make some kind of like shake with that. So that that's it, you guys. So I just wanted to go to the grocery store because we might be going... Um, out of town this weekend and you know I don't like to come back home and not have nothing oh yeah and we got two waters did you bring that out we got two waters and uh two waters and a bag of papas so there you go guys I hope you like I hope you like it so I just thought I'd do uh, a grocery haul through my vlogs so tell me if you like it like this thank you it's about like 5.55 I don't know if you can see the no, you can't see it. I'm starting cooking dinner, making um, the asada tortas. I cut up the tomatoes, lettuce, and aguacate, and those are going to be the breads. They didn't have the bolillos, you know, the bolillos that you normally do the um, tortas with, so I had to get these. So, yes, I'll let you see after. And forgot to mention, um, I use olive oil, I use pepper, garlic salt, and this... Um, it's like asada, carne asada for to make the meat taste good, so yes, that's what I forgot to tell you guys. So here's dinner guys, um, this is my son's on the left hand side. Uh, he didn't want his buns baked to get it like a little crispy, so I just made it normal or natural, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and then this is my husband's plate, he wanted his toasted a little bit, so the, there's avocado, tomato lettuce, like I showed you all the ingredients and then just regular laid potato chips so we're gonna enjoy dinner and we'll get back to you hey guys so this is the aftermath after eating dinner that's a mess and that's a mess and the table's not bad I just have to wipe it down so I'm gonna go ahead and wash these dishes it's about like 8 15 right now so here's the kitchen, how it looks when it's done, way better. And I clean, wipe the counters with this Mr. Clean from Walmart. And as you can see, the table is done. And who else saves cans and water bottles? I do. And I don't know if you guys could tell this uh, microwave is new. My mother-in-law actually gave it to me on my old vlogs. I had like a white one. And I bought these uh, little jars, sugar, coffee, and cream. But there's nothing in there yet. Not till like winter time. I'm going to start putting whatever ingredients need to be in the jar. But yeah, my mother-in-law gave me this microwave because she bought a new one. I love it. I love it. It's more power. The food gets hot quicker. Because my old one, as soon as you put it in there, and like not even like 30 seconds would pass, it be popping. Like it's like burning, but it's really cold. But this one, I love it. Thank you, Mom. I really love it. Okay, so this is what my son's going to be doing. Let's see if you could see. It is... Huh, I can't... Can you look at... I don't want it to look... Can you do it to work? Okay. There you go. Vanilla bean frappuccino. It's homemade. So, we got the vanilla bean. We got vanilla right there. I'm using this different blender. I threw my old one away because it was no good. This is the one mom gave me to make, like, shakes. So, I'm going to try it. This can be the second time using it. Some sugar, some whipped cream for at the end. And some ice and some milk. So let's see how it goes. So here is the outcome of the shake. It tastes pretty good. It tastes like... Okay, you want to... Honey, you want to vlog me? It tastes pretty good. Like vanilla, vanilla bean, like... I don't really get this at Starbucks, but do you? Have you tried it before, son? No. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to end the vlog because it's already about almost 10 o'clock. Getting late, so I'm just going to enjoy this. Thank you, son, for doing this for me. Uh, if you guys want to try it, let me know, and I'll leave you guys the ingredients. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to try it. So, thank you for watching. God bless. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you. Good night and good morning to whoever is out in every world. Bye.